Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Goku Shimmer. This 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 is Broken Age. This might be the last the last part, the Broken Age. So let's get to it. I finished Vela's part in two videos. So if this one's just the same or slightly shorter or longer, it should be two videos as well. <laughs> Alright. Uh when was this again? Merrick, I've installed the fusion orb inhibitor. Great. Now when we push this button, the ship's shields will come down. But before we do that, we need to navigate the ship to Prima Doom. Can you tell me how we get to Prima Doom again? Take that star chart I gave you to the Space Weaver. Right, the star chart. I'd better get back to the mission. Okay. Yes, our window of opportunity won't last forever. Let's go. We need to go here right away. Prima Doom! Negative. That system is forbidden due to likelihood of hostile activity. <laughs> but it's an emergency. Sometimes safety is the most exciting adventure of all. <laughs> Oh, Might so I, I suggest myself. somewhere safer, like Puppy Planetoid, Cozy Cluster, or maybe somewhere in the Smile System? <laughs> Alright, let's try Puppy Planetoid. Uh, yeah. Preparing decryption mechanism. What? I was removed from party. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Let's make sure calibers in position. that it's still Deep recording my voice. Spindle and rotational velocity. Deploying nav okay, stuff in five, four, three, two, one. Oh no, they went too fast. I got I got kicked from my party, so I should have to make another one. Right. Please enjoy your stay and be safe. Some stars on this star chart. I'll bet I could use this crochet hook to make I alterations in the map. I was too late because I why I had technical difficulties. That's not fair. Where shall we go today, wise commander? Uh, maybe the smile system would be better. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. This uh, is the star chart for Prima Doom. Calibers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. But I don't know. Spindle There's already a stitch there. Velocity. I think it would look better this way. Deploy Just a quick fix. In five. There's already a stitch Four. there. I can't take it out. Three. There's already a stitch there. Two. I can't take it out. There's One. already a stitch there. Oh god. What will that take you? Oh my. I I seem to have made an error in my knitting. Not sure how that happened, sir. Shall I try again? But that's not I should show this to the space weaver. What up, kid? I need This is the star chart for Prima Doom. One, so three, two, okay. This uh, uh, so cover up the entire middle. Three Oh no, it's not the entire banner. What is it? Oh, sorry. Uh. No way! I have to go to Prima Doom right now. Lives depend on it. I'm sorry, young master, but my programming won't allow it. Fine. Cozy cluster it is. Yeah, okay, this is, this is, this is the one I need. Initializing warp and wolf drive. I've already memorized this. Intake calibers in position. Uh, why, why we at that? viscosity. Speed right would look better this way. Right velocity. Oh Just a quick Deploying fix. Deploying nav scarf in five. There. I can't back out, you see? Four. Three. Two. See, that's it, man. One. That's it. I'm not even gonna look. That's it. Let's go. Jesus! Wait, no! 
This is not the destination I indicated. I'm so sorry, Ambassador. I will correct this right. What's that? I seem to be out of yarn. <gasps> humiliation! 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 <laughs> wow, oh, star he took that face. really hard. Don't worry, Space Weaver. As soon as I rescue those helpless creatures, we'll get out of Prima Doom. Nice side. Let's go. Uh, sorry about that. Quickly, young cub, over here. Quickly, young cub. Quickly. We're all set for the rescue mission, but enemy forces seem to be aware of us already. I'm ready. Let's do this quickly. Affirmative. The controls are yours. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. All right. You may now use the fusion God. orb inhibitor button to inhibit the fusion orb and shut down the ship's shields. Oh, it's Careful. so fast. Well done. Now the next one. Next one, next one. When it comes to choosing a creature, you must trust your instincts. Wait for it. Oh no! Dang! What does right there? Rats! Keep trying. Uh, no, not again! Oh my uh, god! This is more difficult than. Are you serious? I'm so close. That's okay. Just give it to me! There you go. Jeez, it keeps okay, getting faster. Okay, that's all we can do. We're pulling out. No! I need to save this last one. Don't make the same mistake you did last time, boy. You said you trusted my instincts, right? I... I don't understand. What is it about this creature? I don't know. <gasps> but it's important. Yes. There is no need for this. We've saved more than enough. It's just one creature. It's not... It's definitely worth it. Rats. Gosh darn it! Gosh darn Dang. it! Oh my god, why is it so fast? Rats! Dang! The soul! Got her! Huh? What's that? What is that? I. I have no idea. Evasive maneuvers! Attention! Ship is under attack! Okay, I think I figured out what happened. I think that I can't see her anymore. Was Forget about the creature. Uh, Vela? We need to move you to a safe this location. Ship Come is with me. Mag-tacula. Or a Mag-tacula. Yeah! Oh, God. Run, Shay! Get somewhere safe! Attention! Critical breach in outer hall. I can fix this. She left. No! She got... Mag-tacula tried to get her twice, but she escaped both times. And now this one, she attacked her in the last one. Something's happened to the ship, but don't worry. I'm a, I'm a, I'm Your father's gone out to fix it. Shay, where are you going? <laughs> it's not safe. <laughs> and then I'm completely Shay! wrong. Shay! We'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. God. My tether? God. Okay, maybe I am wrong. Is that giant eyeball? Um. <laughs> this is this is like a giant eyeball. This is, oh god, I got flashbang! Look at this. The stars are falling from the sky. The gravity turned off? No, yeah, because it's not. It's not it's a simulation. I was right. Oh, he knocked, got knocked out. Yeah, no, I'm, st I'm still confused. I'm still very confused. I thought I was supposed to move. <laughs> no, I'm not. I can't do nothing. Oh, back to her. Back to Vela. She got no oh, they both got knocked up. Oh god. Oh 
See, it is mechanical. Maybe I was right. Oh, it looks so gross. Why does it... It, it, it drooled! It drooled earlier. Oh! I was right! Oh yeah, there's, I'm such a genius. When the context clues were there, I just picked them up. Oh, think I fell in love? You shut the fuck shit. Did it switch places now? What? God, I'm I'm confusion. Can we pause it again? Did they just switch? Closed right now? What? Who am I supposed to be? Oh no, it closed! Oh. oh my god. What is this? Oh, I'm supposed to pick again? <laughs> uh, well, I guess, I guess I'll still go with him. I just go. I just go with the left. I thought. I thought. I thought son, it would be over now. Son, are you okay? There's been some sort of a accident. Are you hurt? Where's your mother? Uh. Shay, you need to snap out of it. Uh. Our ship has crashed. Your mother's still inside. We need to get her out. Okay. Splarg! Just help me out of this sand, will you? That girl. Who are you talking about? Never mind. I'll get myself out. What the? Is a real person? What are you? You need to calm down, son. There's been an accident, and your mother is still trapped. My mother? But you're... You're not... Why would they hide that? She's really... Yes, she's really in there. And no, I'm not going to leave her behind. We're going to get your mom out of there. Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm My... even more confused. Mom? <laughs> Dude, she got some crazy I know hair. we haven't seen you much in person lately. It's just that I've been busy outside the ship, or, well, what I thought was a ship, in what I thought was space. We weren't actually in space? The point is, your mom is still inside the thing, oh, so and she's not responding to my real. calls. Help me find a way to get back on board, will you? Sure. Dad? <laughs> oh, look, he's so excited. Is that really our ship? Why does it look like a... A monster? I wonder how my mom's doing know. in there. I'll figure it out I mean, after we get your mother. I guess I always knew my parents were people. It's just been a while since I thought of them that way. Dang. Yo, hell, oh, oh, God, we were... We were putting so, a simulation. If we oh. weren't actually in space, where were we? Oh, she's still... He's been choking the whole time. Greetings. I am Shay of Laruna. Curious. If I wasn't traveling through space, then why are you speaking in an alien tongue? <laughs> Judging by your outfit, I assume you're the leader of this place? <laughs> <I'm> flattered. <laughs> I'd love to talk more, but I need to go help my parents right now. <laughs> what if that whistling sound is actually something caught in his throat? Maybe yeah. I could fish it out with this. Sir? You are more likely to force the object further down his throat if you attempt that. I recommend a sudden constricting pressure to the abdomen instead. Ah. Trust me, choking prevention is my business. I need to take it to the snake? Somehow. He doesn't want to see my baby clothes. He seems a little too distracted right now to enjoy them. Oh, let's go up here. What is up here? Maybe that guy will help us with, with the ship. Wow. Looks like something really hot happened here. Holy smokes, it overheated. The 
lava, though. Molten rock. I guess that's a volcano. They look so different in the ship's cosmopedia. It's not a volcano. That's another ship, kid, but I guess it does look kind of like a volcano. Are you here? What the? That outfit. Operation Dandelion. Oh. Yeah. Are you? Are you? Me? Wait. From the future? They're the same? Are you me from the past? I can't believe what I'm seeing. This is amazing. I'm not sure the world is ready for two of us. Yeah. Our that parents would probably cool. agree. One Shay is enough. Yeah. Wait, who's Shay? We're Shay. My name is Alex. I don't remember ever being called Shay. You didn't grow up on the Bassa Nostra? No, I grew up on the Malaruna. Oh, then we're not. not. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. The That's a relief. Place. Yeah. Wait, why is that a relief? Nothing. I, I just mean the... <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> oh, wow. So, why are you dressed like me? Were you also in Operation Dandelion? Yeah, in what I thought was a spaceship. But then, it crashed, and it wasn't in space. And there was this angry girl there, and my ship looked like a monster on the outside. You know, I remember the Malaruna looked a little funny after the crash, but I just thought it was deflated airbags and fire damage. Well, if I wasn't actually from space, that will make my trip back to Laruna a lot easier. <laughs> if I can get this ship fixed. You're going back to Laruna? That's where I'm from. But they said it was dying. Yeah, well, if they lied to us about the space thing, who knows what else they're lying about. My ship crashed down on the beach. Didn't you see it? Oh, that was your ship. Um... Yeah, why? Well, I might have actually shot it down. <laughs> Why? Well, this girl, Vela, wanted to kill the monster, Mog Chothra. And I kind of owed her one. Mog Chothra. How are you going to get this ship back to Laruna? Well, if I can get my space conductor up and working again, it'll well, take me back to a there. previous destination. As how, long as long I compose the right tune into his nav song. Nav song? You mean your nav scarf? <laughs> nav scarf? Was your mom really into knitting or something? Mine was all <laughs> about music. All Everything music. we did on my ship was about music. Just between you and me, I'm a little sick of the music thing. Uh, have you seen Maruna? What's it like? No idea. I was born on this ship and my parents never showed me any pictures. But supposedly, it's dying. So, why do you want to get back there? Dying or not, home sounds pretty good after 300 years stuck on a sandcastle. Where are your parents? They lived for about 20 years after the crash, and then passed away three months apart from each other. That's one of the reasons I went into Chrysolation. All day. But hey, maybe if I get back to Laruna, who knows, I might have some other family there. <sighs> why did yeah, they put us on spaceships that weren't spaceships? Well, we were supposed to be looking for a new place to live, but maybe we were actually looking for something else and we just didn't know it. Oh, God. Did you have a strange wolf on your ship who told you to hack the controls? Weird. I did get hacking ideas like that, but I'm too embarrassed to say where they came from. <laughs> Come on. Tell me where you got the idea to hack the ship. I... I started hallucinating that my cello was talking to me. It would walk around and talk and tell me to keep secrets from my mom. The same thing with us in the wolf. Did your cello have a name? Well, he called himself Merrick. Merrick, did he <gasps> the same name? But you know I just made that up. No, 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 I, I had a Merrick too. He wanted us to rescue. Or capture. capture. Ah, yes, yeah, finally figured out. Girls. Those helpless creatures were... Oh, man. I'm kind of glad I never managed to rescue any now. <laughs> you never got any of them, really? Do you need I any help like, getting your ship like, running? Like, like, Do I safe. ever? Looters have taken some critical parts. Well, maybe we have some extra parts on my ship. It's just downstairs on the beach. Shay, our ship, it... 
uh, came to life and flew away. What? Probably to Laruna on autopilot. Oh no. Is that. <laughs> is that me from the past? <laughs> oh, this is <laughs> Alex. He was in Operation Dandelion years ago. Uh, Ray Volta, pleasure to meet you. His ship crashed here too, and now he wants to go back to Laruna. Well, I'll be. We're inside a Diamond Age Dandelion cruiser. Never seen one in person before. If we can get my ship running, you're welcome to come back with me and look for your ship in Laruna. Son, I think you've just found a way to catch up to your mother. I can whip up a batch of my special hull patching compound. Would that help? Sure would. I'll bet the undercarriage on this baby is shot. Leave it to me. I saw a tub with some good starter enzymes down on the beach. Yeah, so that's my dad. Cool. So, what else does your ship need to fly? Hmm, let me see here. Still need an electronics genius, and, uh, still need your dad to patch the holes in the hull. What else? I still need a radiation suit. Hmm. Haven't found a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam yet. And... Gotta replace my heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit. Once we take care of that, we'll be ready to fly. On it. Who do you think has been looting your ship? Actually, I suspect the guards outside. Something about their outfits. There aren't any guards out there. Walked off the job, eh? Man, 300 years ago, people were a lot more professional, I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah, there's so many things they gotta What add. was it about your guards' outfits that made you suspicious? Did they look like they were hiding loot underneath? No, it was the way they were made from the same material as my radiation shielding blast curtains. Oh. <laughs> What's the, a the superconductive gyro what's it cam? A superconductive gyroscopic hypercam. A small but critical part of the ship's controls. Here, I'll, I'll draw you a detailed schematic. Detailed schematic? Okay, really? I'll see if I can find one lying oh, around. Oh god, that was really good. So, <laughs> what kind of help do you need with the wiring? I need an electrical genius who can get into small spaces, knows how to solder, and who can memorize circuit boards at a glance. Jeez. Okay, yeah, that's not me. I'll find somebody. Who can okay, do that? see you later. Okay. Oh god, there's gonna be a lot of talking. What's this? Oh, this is what he was doing with the thing. We did the scarf thing and he was doing music. Yo, that's crazy. Same simulation, but different. Hey, you got this old timey laser coil and amplifying quartz all hooked up wrong. Want me to- No, no, don't touch them. They've come close to overheating several times and they're extremely unstable. I'll, I'll get around to fixing that soon. Just leave it to me. All right, all right. Not sure what this strange diamond-shaped socket is for. Oh god. Think this is some sort of bowl spoon? No, sir. I believe that's an old-fashioned charging station. Charging station. This button only works on grabbing Gary. I wonder where he is now, and what he's grabbing. <laughs> okay, uh... So strange. But I feel like I've seen this pyramid before. And I don't just mean a minute ago, when I was walking in. I... Our ship is really gone. Without a trace. God. Um... Uh, oh, oh, ship! God. It's really gone. Uh... Hey, hey, it's one of my hexapal buddies. Doesn't look like he survived getting thrown off the ship. Ooh. Poor guy. I picked him up. All right, let's put him in the charging station. Let's, let's see if that does anything. Huh. It's not exactly the same shape, but maybe if I turn it. 
Oh, that doesn't look good. Ah. Doesn't look like he survived getting oh. thrown off the ship. Poor guy. Wait a second. Gary's definitely out of range. Of all the, it's the crochet. Alex drew this. These guys did everything on my ship: welding, washing, electrical. Uh. I don't think I can fix him with a crochet hook. Okay. Oh God, there's so much more to do now. I, th I thought I, th I, th I thought I was done, but that was only Act One. How many acts are there? Act. A C T. Act. That was Act One. Real seagulls, not made of yarn. <laughs> it's Act Two again. So, if this isn't an alien planet, why do you talk so funny? Huh? Must be some sort of performer, a clown perhaps. <laughs> What if that whistling sound is actually something caught in his throat? Nice schematic. Alright, let's talk to her then. She came down from the thing. Hi, I'm Shay. I'm Carl. No, wait. You know what? Carol. My name is Carol. <laughs> nice to meet you, you Carol. What are you doing? Taking a break from the husband, the kids, and that darn cloud we live on. Trying to enjoy a little fishing here, but having some setbacks. Fish aren't biting? No. Some nitwit stole every hook in town. <laughs> Trying to twist this wire into a hook, but it's not working out. Did you say you had wire? I have a bunch, but I'm using it all up trying to make these dang hooks. <laughs> yeah. You lived on a cloud? Yeah, but it's not as nice as it sounds. Trapped up in that fluffy, soft world, never able to leave or do anything real. Oh, I, I can relate, not. actually. <laughs> Did you see that big thing crash down out there on the beach? Mogchathra? Yeah, good riddance. Don't have to worry about that pain in the neck showing up and eating our girls anymore, I guess. <laughs> Did you say Mogchathra ate girls? Are you sure he wasn't rescuing them? Rescuing? Huh? Ah. For what? Their loving families? Where did Mog Chothra go? Yeah, that was weird. Guess he wasn't dead after all. He just up and flew out of here. Probably headed Which back direction? home with his tail between his legs. Which direction? Where is Mog Chothra's home? They say he comes from over the plague dam. Must be some mama Mog over there popping out fresh monsters every 14 years or so. Hey, do you know anything about electronics? Oh, no. I only work with wire to reinforce the cloud shoes I make. A correction. Used to make. Well, good luck and good fishing, Carol. Or stay fishing beats the best day in a cloud cult. <laughs> oh, what's that smell? Dad? Son? At least now we have a plan. Right, Dad? Well, half of one at least. If our ship's headed to Laruna on autopilot, and if we can fix Alex's ship and hitch a ride there with him, then all we have to figure out is... What to do when we get there. Right. What's cooking? Found some fermented biomatter here. Perfect enzymatic base for my patented hull patch formula. <laughs> Only problem is, I can't add the bonding agent until I know I have the pH balanced perfectly, or the whole batch will be ruined. How's the hull patch coming? Great. Except I can't add the final ingredient until I know I have the pH balanced correctly. How would you change the pH anyway? I've added all the calcium carbonate I could get my hands on just to lower the acidity and raise the pH to be somewhere in the ballpark. But I need to know it's exactly seven before I put in the final ingredient. 
How'd you get the calcium carbonate? By grinding up every seashell on the beach. But I fear it's still not enough. Can't you just do a taste test or something? My taste buds aren't that sensitive. Also, I put poison in there. What? Well, it's <laughs> usually to keep space parasites from chewing on the patch. Force of habit, I guess. <laughs> Where can I get more calcium carbonate? That's a great question. If I could find just one more shell, that would help. Good luck, Dad. Mm-hmm. I wonder if these things are dangerous. Over here then. Let's meet Curtis. Now let's meet the talking tree first. The filthy, lousy, sadistic. <laughs> Oops. What? what are you talking about? I heard you talking. You don't need to hide it from me. Talking to humans hasn't really worked out well for me. Don't worry. I've seen much weirder stuff than talking trees where I'm from. Oh, so I'm a weird thing, huh? A freak? Does that make you no. want to cut me down, huh? Turn me into a stool, I suppose? No, that's not what I was saying at all. Oh, I understand why you're mad. Stuck in one place all your life, wanting to see the world. No, that's not what's making me upset. <laughs> it's all the murderous humans who want to cut us down. Being stuck in one spot is... Kind of like the whole tree thing, man. Who wouldn't like yeah. that? Do all trees talk in this land? Maybe take the time to talk to them before you cut them down, and you'll find out. I've never cut down a tree in my life. Really? How'd you get your wood? We didn't use wood. My... My mom just knit everything we needed. Well, that's just the sweetest thing I've ever... Wait, what were her knitting needles made of? Plastic. Okay. I think. <laughs> Do you know anything about fixing spaceships? No, that's a subject that never resonated with me. <laughs> oh, good one. <laughs> yeah, tree jokes are the best. Have you seen a mad-looking girl in a tattered dress? Oh, please don't mention that demented little <laughs> urchin to me. It makes me sick to think of how she made me sick. Why did she make you sick? She coveted my sap. I saw her collected in a bucket. Oh, curse my precious fluids and all their magical hardening properties. <laughs> well, I gotta make like a tree and split. It's supposed to be a banana, but don't worry about it. Tree jokes are hard. <laughs> I've detected an unusual rock formation on the surface. That's not rock. It's the hardened shell of my sick, summoned from my gut by a banshee in a shredded gown. <laughs> you don't say. Never banshee. seen one of those before. Okay. Let's get out of here. Well, let, let, let's introduce... Any talking Shane. trees over here? No? Good. Let's I can hear you. Uh -huh. That's an interesting smell. So unfamiliar. Uh -huh. What the? Oh, wow. This is incredible. A real giant constrictor. My mother never would have allowed this. That must have been danger. I was smelling. Feel like letting go of me, Mr. Huggy? I hate to do this to you, big guy, but... <laughs> and now he's getting the adventure he wanted. I've got stuff to do. No time for play right now. I still don't know what's over there. Let's go say hi to Curtis. Let's go say hi to Curtis. Sorry, wood shop is closed. No more oh, stuff. Come back late. Whoa. Never seen an outfit like that before. <laughs> Where'd you get it? Uh, did she knit it for? My mom knit it for me. In space. Right. Hey, I get it. You don't want to reveal your source. Have everybody biting your style next week. Biting my... 
It's cool. I got my own thing, so... Uh... Hi, my name's Shay. Curtis. <laughs> what are you making there? Art. Forged from metal. Metal, let's go. I used to work with wood, but, you know... Metal's better. It's getting all trendy. And the tree started talking. And there was no money in it, so I got into metal. How long have you been into metal? Oh, I've been into metal for, like, ever. But my kit just arrived today. So <laughs> I've been, like, hardcore for about six hours. <laughs> six hours? <laughs> what are you forging? Well, in fact, you are the lucky one to see my very metal first... <sighs> oh! Collectible die-cast miniature. Oh. oh. Oh, it's a little cat reading a book. That's so cute. Cute? Hmm. It is cute. Well, the catalog said it was supposed to be a wizard, but it looks more like a kitten reading a book. Yeah, it lied to you. Dang it. Did I order the wrong mold? You probably did. Do you order your molds from a catalog? Hey, I'm just starting out, okay? It's like I'm in the cover band phase. I want to do my own material, like, eventually. Okay. Do you have any other molds? I could only afford this one. <laughs> the idea was to sell a bunch of wizards to buy more molds, but with this stupid cat, I don't know if I'm ever going to get hey, any man. mold. Hey, man. Those cats can sell good. What does that big ladder go on your roof? There's a ladder on my roof? More like through your roof. Hmm. Huh. Not sure. But I've got a hunch that Vela had something to do with it. <laughs> Is Vela a friend of yours? Well, she used to come around here a lot. Had a thing for my stools. <laughs> I think you could make I mean, me a radiation suit. Yeah. Nah, I, like I don't do soft yet, goods. Actually. If you're looking for a good seamstress, though, but... I'd check out Mariloft. They do amazing stuff with feathers. Uh, you know, if you're into that kind of thing. <laughs> well, have fun with the metal. Later, Shader. Later, Shader. Oh, I like that. What happened to your axe? Looks like your axe is missing. <laughs> I don't use axes anymore. <laughs> now I make the axes. Uh, well, I mean, I will, once I get the mold. <laughs> yeah, metal's cool. Is this boarded up for fire safety or something? Uh, yeah, safety. Never know when an inspector's gonna show up. Your paintings are all ripped up. Yeah, that was a different me who did that. I'm much more calm now that I'm working with metal. <laughs> Your paintings are all ripped up. I'll say one. There's a piece missing from this window. Oh, yeah. I lost the sun somehow. Yeah. Me too. Oh, it's mutter, yes. The sun. About this, would this work? I don't think that would help this little guy. Okay. Oh, okay. going up to Meriloft. Going up. Phew. Now that was a ladder. Dang, yeah, Whoa. Check out these crazy clouds. It's the third. I just lost that. Okay, for there, you're doing great. You built the new ladder. You got it attached, just like I asked. Now all you have to do is climb up here and rescue me. Brother Lightbeard, can you not climb down yourself? I've told you a million times for there. I've been up here too long. My feet are weak. They're like little teacups. I dare not use them. Now please, for there, stop wasting time. I... Uh, well, I can't, Brother Lightbeard. You know I... I... No, 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 don't cry, whatever you do. I can't. Ah, <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> oh, what happened? What happened to the... Hey, what's wrong, big guy? Brother Lightbeard needs my help. I have failed him. Also, I don't like being called big. 
Hi, I'm Shay. What's your name? They used to call me Fathur, but after this day, they will only call me Coward. Or maybe, if I'm lucky, Coward. Huh. Who's Brother Lightbeard? Our benevolent leader who was stranded on his high cloud when a strange girl broke his ladder. <laughs> Why can't you help Brother Lightbeard? I'm afraid to climb this ladder. Oh, he's scared to hide. Climb the ladder. You're light enough. But I'm not brave enough. Tell me more about this strange girl. She looked so light, but I sensed a heaviness in her heart. Sure enough, when she got on the ladder, it broke. <laughs> I think Harmony's teachings really could have helped her. Oh, wow. It was three gold eggs. What do you mean? Any idea why we're able to walk on these clouds? Because the words of Harmony Lightbeard make us light. Any idea where I can get a heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit? Oh, I'm sure we don't have one of those. Harmony hates anything heavy. You should help Brother Lightbeard. I can't. Climb the ladder. You're strong enough. But I'm not. I'm not inside. Well, see you later. Don't give up. Well, what was the lock? Let me climb up there. Let's see what I got. Mind if I try your ladder? Wait, I actually skipped it. Oh. How does that big cloud stay afloat? Just like all the other clouds, there's nothing special about my cloud. Why don't you just climb down? My legs have atrophied from lack of use. Wow. How long have you been up there? Just since this morning. By atrophied, I just mean really, really stiff. Why don't you just stay up there? I need to get back to my cloud house before tea time. If the watercress sandwiches stay out too long, the bread gets a tough outer layer. Almost like a new crust, you know? And then Chef has to make new ones. It's just really not fair to him. <laughs> I'm trying to get up there, but I can't reach. Don't you have something you can stand on? Any idea where I can find a heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit? Hey, whoa! What are you implying? I'm naturally buoyant. I just meant you seem to know a lot about lift. Please, my lightness comes from within. Okay, see you later. <sighs> I'm supposed to get something to weigh this. Uh. Uh. Is there a grab? <laughs> For there. Hello? Can you rescue Harmony now? I still can't reach him, and he's too noble to jump. Go get help. I can't leave Brother Lightbeard's side, or his underneath, or whatever. <laughs> Can you untie that bow on Harmony's cloud? Why would I do that? because it's in the way of us saving him. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, how do I untie it? Can you tell me what kind of knot it is? Um, yeah. Wow. The big old nasty-looking kind. Thanks. I'm sure it looks harder than it is. Let's give it a shot. I'll try. Work it apart with your fingers. I think I see what you mean. Ooh, I think I messed it up. Uh, what does it look like now? Well, uh, ah. like a whole new terrible knot. Uh, let's go over here again. Uh, 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 so confusion. But I was just trying to take care of my family. For that or is this some kind of warning about him? 
that? Looks like someone tied this ladder down. There's a note. Guys, quit moving my ladder, please. You're really cheesing me off. Signed, Gus. Huh. That egg looks like it's having a little trouble hatching. Maybe I should. Uh oh. What is wrong with you? Oh! oh. Ow. Why would you try to do that? There's a tree that away. I already know what's over here. Take us, take us down. God. We are in our prime. <laughs> Eat our sweet rewards. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not comfortable with that. <gasps> yeah, that's a little. Eat our sacred. How about we just skip that line? Okay. We'll return in time. Let our child rise. From its rotten bed, up from a hidden pit, long after we are dead. Hey, are you those guards who stole Alex's radiation-proof curtains? Without admitting any wrongdoing, <laughs> what's it to ya? If you give me back those robes, I promise Alex won't press charges. First of all, we didn't steal anything. Secondly, we're naked under here, so no way you're getting our robes. <laughs> if you want them, you're gonna have to fight us for them. Yeah, I'll fight you for those robes, no problem. I need them to help my mom. Oh, that's so sweet. He wants to help his mother. And he's willing to beat us up with a stick to do it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to beat anybody up, but I will easily disarm the both of you. I've completed several fencing missions with my yarn pals, <laughs> so if you have another stick handy. We don't have any fencing sticks handy, Mr. Fancy. But if you find one, feel free to come back and try to take our robes from us. I got Are you guys looking for a tree to talk to? Because I saw one down in the forest that might actually talk back. Oh, no thanks. We know that weirdo. We're here because this is the tree with the fruit. The fruit, that is. The answer. <laughs> that was really convincing, Courtney. Thanks. I did the pause just like you said. What are you guys doing up here? We are the former dead-eyed druids. Misled and betrayed by a false prophet, we have come to seek wisdom from the Tree of Answers. <laughs> Why do you think this tree has answers? Okay, honestly, it wasn't our first choice. We really came up here because we heard about this guru of lightness that a lot of people were following. But apparently he's out of commission. So we remembered this fruit. And since it was the answer to the riddle of Yorn, maybe it's the answer to everything. That's, that's not how things work. <laughs> Just because the fruit was the answer to one riddle. Too many questions. This is a matter of faith. Also, we really need this to work because we've run out of stuff to believe in. Yeah, <laughs> we're kind of at the end of our ropes. I'm going to get a stick, and then we're going to fight for those robes. <laughs> Why don't you go get some yarn instead? <laughs> yeah, we'd love to meet one of your friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I'll be back. Yeah, that's what the dead eye god said. Wait, are we speaking as us worshipping the fruit? I thought we were hmm. the fruit worshipping the tree. Let's go down. Maybe we're the child. Uh, Gus, down, Gus, is Gus stuck down here again? Oh, I heard him from the other side. He's over here though. Oh my god, this, this guy. Mind if I take one of these? Please, spread the word. We might just save some lives here, man. How's the fruit? Uh, 
it's a little on the tangy side, to be honest, but you know, the game is always sweetest to the hunter. So, what kind of hunter are you? I've been trying to get this fruit all day, but I had some issues, and I almost gave up. But I went to the arcade and beat my own high score on 3D Hypercrypt, and I was like, if I can do that, I can do anything! You know? <laughs> of course. Everyone knows video games are good for your self-esteem. What's that thing you're sticking in the fruit? Oh, this little tapper thing? That's so I can skip all the skin and fiber and just drink the juice right away. Juice, you know? That way all the phytonutrients and stuff get in your bloodstream faster. For when you want to get healthy in a big hurry, man. Hey, can I borrow that little fruit tapper? Yeah, actually, I've been thinking the acid or something and the fruit is messing with the coating on this thing. <laughs> giving it a weird taste. You can have it. I'll just squeeze it out natural. Thanks. Don't worry. I, I don't have a cold or anything. What's the big healthy rush? Well, recently I was all hung up on my own under on my underlying <laughs> issues, and I had some time to think. <laughs> and then this girl hit me. I, I mean, uh, it it hit me. I need to turn my life around. <laughs> then I got that high score at the arcade, and now here I am, the king of health. So why are you going to turn your life around? Well, at first, it was because of this girl, McGee. I imagined her cheering me on through each level in 3D Hypercrypt. But then when <laughs> I reached the end, I realized... McGee doesn't care about 3D Hypercrypt. She doesn't play video games. No, she thinks the 3D is a gimmick. She only plays the original. But <laughs> what I'm saying is that the high score, the juicing, it's okay if it's just for me. <laughs> I'm not doing this to uh, to impress anybody, you know? That's good. <laughs> so how are you going to turn your life around? Well, like, what's the next step from here? Uh, probably go back to the arcade, you know, and look for another sign. Lots of other high scores to beat, man. Drinking all that juice, don't you have to use the bathroom a lot? I'll let you in on a little secret. Okay. When you live in the clouds, you're never very far from a bathroom. Oh, there are people down below. I was just down below. Hey, watch the skies, man. <laughs> I'll let you get back to your juice. Watch the skies, Bye. man. Alright, I got a fruit. This I don't like what he said about the acid and the metal. I'm going to keep it natural, too. Okay. It's combining stuff, man. It sure does put her stuff in an egg and... <gasps> Or the rotten feds. You know what part of this story I really feel like, Dawn? What, Courtney? The pig. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um. God, I'm still kind of lost. No, no, I'm not. Kind of, sort of. Maybe not really. Uh. I, got, I guess I'll, I'll talk to everyone up here and then see what Why I get. Why would they build a fountain for that weirdo? Or is this some kind of warning about him? Hi, my name's Shay. I'm from... out of town. Me too. I'm from Sugar Bunting. My name's Husker. This here is Walter. Walter. Sticking with that, are you? <laughs> Did you say your name was Walter or Walt Er? My name was lightened to Walt Er by Harmony Lightbeard. <laughs> it's not a cult thing. It is a cult thing. No, wait! <laughs> it's not a cult thing. Quit confusing me. <laughs> oh, you mean that weird guy on that fake cloud over there? There's nothing fake about Harmony Lightbeard or his thra... Mm. It has stitching holding it together and a big bow at the bottom. Didn't you notice? It's pretty obvious. Mm. Have you guys seen a giant monster flying by here? Some people call him Mog Chothra. Not since he came to my village to destroy it. My daughter, Vela, fought him off. Can you believe it? She was so brave. <laughs> she taught us all a lesson that day. That's right. Your town wouldn't happen to be named Danger System 5, would it? <laughs> I 
No, I think I mentioned I'm from Sugar Bunting. What kind of name is Danger System 5? <laughs> Sounds like something from a kid's action program. <laughs> yeah, something to entertain little kids, maybe. <laughs> What's this little hut for? It's my wife's cloud shoe business. She was working hard to make money, while well, I just worked on giving it away. She's run off now, and I have no idea where. I think I might have seen your wife. Really? Where? Don't tell him. You know what, Walter? When she's ready to come back, she'll find you, okay? <sighs> You're right. Well, see you guys later. Take care, Shay. Actually, <laughs> he's still down here. He's still down here? Oh. <clears throat> what happened to this place? Haven't you ever been to the Maiden's Feast? <laughs> I want to say no, but I'm worried the answer is yes. Um, do you know this guy? No one should ever have to go to a maiden's feast. And no one ever will again, if I can have anything to do with it. I'm cool <laughs> with that. What exactly is a maiden's feast? Something we've always had to do. So we were told, and we believed it. We thought it a great honor. We were so happy for Vela. So proud of her. So foolish. <laughs> so, maidens' feasts are bad then? My daughter taught us that when she fought the monster. You see, it didn't destroy the town. It just ran away. She was right the whole time, all those years. All those girls. What happened Nothing. to them? I'm not sure if you want to hear this, Morelia, but you're actually cheering me up right now. Is there anything I can do to help? I just want to find my daughter. To beg her forgiveness and tell her how proud of her I am. <laughs> please, please be my mother. <laughs> what were you guys talking about when I walked up? I was just trying to cheer up this young lady here. But she's just starting to realize what a loser I am. You are not. <laughs> and why didn't Mog Chothra pick me? Well, uh, I'm not sure. You told me honey. I was under attack. That's what. Uh, maybe he tried to get you, but something came up. Um, who are you again? <laughs> My name is Shay. I'm not from here. Listen, Twyla. It's time to move on. And do what? The Maiden's Feast is the only thing I've prepared for all my life. Well, I'm sure you're good at lots of other things. Like, uh, let me think. Fixing spaceships? No, we don't have many of those around here. Many? We have some. Well, at least your costume is cool. Oh, thanks. Made it myself. You made that stunning dress by yourself? That's amazing, Twyla. Meh. That lot of good it did me. <laughs> oh, do you think you could make me a costume? Huh? Oh, I think that would be a great thing for you to do, Twyla. Well, maybe if you had a pattern and some material, maybe I could whip something up. Uh, okay. Yes. okay, I'll get a pattern and the material and be right back. <gasps> oh, exciting. Okay, okay, okay. Figuring stuff out. Oh, God. So, there's so much. I'm remembering it all. My head. Oh! <clears throat> Should be fine. Alright, let's see. Anybody else? Uh, okay, of course. Hey, hey! Adorable. You wanna buy a cupcake? 
Oh, the let's go. It's a fundraiser <laughs> for a good cause. Hi, I'm Shay. Want a cupcake, Shay? Uh, what's the special cause? We're raising money for an awareness campaign about her missing sister. Uh. And about the lies of the Maiden's Feast system. Yeah, cupcakes against lies. What exactly are the lies of the Maiden's Feast system? They told us that we had to offer maidens as a sacrifice to save our village. And we just went along with it because that's how it's always been done. Yeah, <laughs> us too. But we were all lied to. Yes. Yes, we were. See, Rocky? <laughs> I told you it'd be easy to convince people. <laughs> Why is it only maidens who are sacrificed? Great question. Thank you. We have a lot of questions just like that. So you're going to get rid of the whole system? One cupcake at a time. Each one is like a question. We go from town to town, selling cupcakes, asking questions. Until it's like a giant snowball of cupcakes and <laughs> questions, rolling on and on and getting bigger and bigger. Until it's big enough to take down a whole mug itself. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but, you know, you gotta start small. Where are your parents? Well, my dad is in my mom's cloud shoe hut, getting parenting lessons from Rocky's old man. <laughs> and my mom's trying to cheer up another victim of the maiden feast we met. A girl my sister's age. And I'm not supposed to tell anyone where my mom is, but I know. Let's just say she's catching dinner. <laughs> I want a cupcake. Great. Got any money? Uh... No, but I support your cause. That's great, but we need funds to pay for printing, distribution, <laughs> baking, frosting. Come back when you get some real cash, okay? I paid for a cup. Well, bye. Good luck with the bake sale. Missing persons awareness campaign and revolution by way of cupcakes. That's, That's what I said. <laughs> How's the campaign going? Great. Oh, I can't. I can't ask that. Okay, old man. This time uh -huh. you're going down. Are you no! Me? <laughs> oh, how'd you do that? <sighs> the master. Say there. <laughs> Do you guys know any place around here to get some money? Oh, I have lots of money. My dad says it's important to give it away. You want some? Definitely. Just enough to buy a cupcake. Here you go. Thanks. Really? Why do you have so much? Well, Pops gives it to me to give to Harmony. But I know Harmony likes to stay light, so I keep most of it myself to lighten his burden. And I'll never <laughs> hold up in court. <laughs> Somehow, I think you're going to end up the hero of your family. <laughs> I know, cause I'm a warrior! Why are you beating up this little kid? I'm not! I'm teaching him how to fight! I'm on lesson five! He begged me! <laughs> what are you guys doing all the way out here? We needed to find a place far away from everybody. Some people don't like to see an old man beating up on a little kid. Or the other way around. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Did you guys see that bake sale over there? Yep. Frosted them cakes myself. Fastest gun in the West. <laughs> oh, no. Almost out of the red stuff. Only well, got enough for one more cake. I better save it. I want to make sure I have enough to make one for Bella when we find her. <laughs> you frosted all of those cupcakes by yourself? Can't help it. I see a blank cupcake and just have to frost it. <laughs> I'm against this whole baker thing, but if we're gonna do it, then I'm gonna be the best at it. That's right. Like me with fighting. Okay, back to oh, no, I'm, I'm so On your feet. Say there. Huh? Do you really need that thing? You seem pretty light on your feet. Well, I do seem to have a lot more get up and go now that Bella's inspired me. 
Seeing her kick that fog red in its so soft bits really put the fight back. back in my bones. But I still need the cane. It's where I keep my frosting. <laughs> Why are you beating up? Okay, back to your lessons. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, money for the cupcake. Get a cupcake? What? What do I do with that cupcake? You're the old man? Wanted a cup of this this time. Hey, hey! Hey, can Watch I buy one of those cupcake? cupcakes? I got money. Great! <laughs> I will take that money. Here's your cupcake. The red frosting is special. It was her favorite kind. Well, actually, it's my favorite kind. But I never let her have any before. And now she's gone, so now I wish I could. Hey, Brock. Dang. Okay. We're going to find her. You know, she's probably out beating up some poor Mog right now. That is most definitely true. <laughs> uh, thanks for the cupcake. <laughs> it's a fundraiser for a good cause. Tell him, Rocky. It's got that girl on top, Vela. Except she looks happier than I remember. They've got red frosting! She looks happier than I remember. <laughs> yes, we were, we were, we were. I got you now. Uh. Uh. Oh god! Oh god! Not good. Get out. Hey, you want to frost this cupcake? You blind! It already has frosting on it. I'll eat it. Uh, I need a way to take off the frosting out or what? Uh, I'm confused. Right. Let's do this again. And I think I gotta memorize it now. Let's give that not enough. Just tug on different parts. Okay. Rats. That was a bad idea. Uh, what does it look like now? Well, uh... Okay, I got this friend there. Like a whole new, terrible knot. Ah, <laughs> uh, fearful. Oh god, I'm so confused. 77 minutes of footage. Uh, I mean, most of this is getting gonna cut out anyway, right? Let's go a little bit more. Little bit more. I don't think I needed anything to get in. I didn't check the mailbox. Is there anything in the mailbox? <coughs> There's some sort of flyer in here. Oh, there is something. Hey, oh. this is that girl that tried to punch me. <laughs> Please contact the Tartine family in Sugar Bunting if you have any information about our beloved daughter. Hmm. How do I break it to them that their daughter was swallowed by my spaceship? Definitely leave out the part about it being my spaceship, for starters. <laughs> it's not a spaceship either. I want to tell these people that I've seen their daughter, but I'm not ready to answer all the questions they'll surely have. It's covered in frost. Uh, okay. So now I have this week. Can't believe it. Humans are just. Gotta go talk to Alex for some reason. Some reason. Where's my cursor? Yeah, my cursor just disappears sometimes. Me no no. So, what else does your ship need to fly? Hmm. Let me see here. Still need an electronics genius and. uh... 
Still need your dad to patch the holes in the hull. What else? I still need a radiation suit. Hmm. Haven't found a superconductive gyroscopic hypercam yet. And... Gotta replace my heavy-duty anti-gravity thrust unit. Once we take care of that, we'll be ready to fly. Oh, that's a lot. On it. Okay, see you later. Okay. Real seagulls, not made of yarn. Hey, Carol. Oh, that's so nice to hear. <laughs> you seem good with your hands. Know anything about knots? Sure. Tying or untying? Untying. I see. What's it look like? God. Oh, yeah. Headache or like a headache, wearing a belt. Hmm. I think I know that one. Well, let me just draw you a quick diagram. Oh, darn. What? Well, I can't seem to find anything to draw with. I'm uh, sorry. A pencil and Alex's I guess ear. I'm of no use after all. Hang on. I'll be right back with a writing utensil. Yes. I know. I saw Alex. I don't know. Right in his ear. <laughs> oh god, once I get this domino train rolling man, it's gonna it's, it ain't gonna stop. Don't stop till it pops and it drops. Can I borrow your space pencil? It's just a pencil. Uh, it's just a regular pencil, but okay. <laughs> why you, why is everything got me space with you kid? Okay, see you later. Okay. Yes, Carol, I got the pencil for you. I got the black pencil. I got, I got the pencil, eh? Hey, I found a pencil. Oh, great. Hand it over, honey. Now, what was I going to draw for you again? Oh, yeah. Untying knots. Hmm. I think I know that one. Here's a diagram. Follow those instructions exactly. Oh, you'll have a totally different knot on your hands. Thanks. Oh, but did I get it right? <laughs> this diagram is good for one thing. Untying knots. Oh god, I don't think that's the right one. What does the instruction say? This diagram is good for one thing. Untying knots. None of this... None of this helps. We'll get another diagram. Get hey, another Carol. One? Oh, that's so nice to hear. Okay. Hey, can I get another knot untying diagram? I know I just got one from you, and I haven't tried it yet, but I want another one. What for? Uh, no reason, actually. I guess I should go try this one first. Ciao! Oh my god, I gotta go all the way back there? Are you serious? <sighs> well, I guess I'll do it in the next episode. <laughs> or next video. Yes, subscribe, like the video, leave a comment if you like. I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye!